Breaking news out of Ukraine, where the Russian military has unleashed a devastating, a deadly missile attack on the city of Odessa. Until now, it had been a safe haven for civilians. Also, we've learned two top members of the Biden administration are going to visit the capital city of Kyiv. Rudabay Shabazi has more details. U.S. officials will meet with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky in Kyiv tomorrow. Zelensky says he's meeting with U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin and Secretary of State Antony Blinken. Speaking with reporters at an underground train station, the Ukrainian president also addressed the possibility of meeting with President Biden. Secretary of Defense and Secretary of State of the United States. Mr. Blinken, they will be here. We will be waiting for the time it is safe enough for the president of the U.S. to come here and support the Ukrainian people as well. Meantime, Russian forces are targeting a steel plant in the port city of Mariupol, housing an estimated 3,000 soldiers and civilians. The Kremlin claiming its military has seized all of Mariupol except for that steel plant. Buses promised by Russia to evacuate people from that city failed to arrive today. The Russian military ordering civilians away with the threat of imminent shelling. The situation just as dire in other parts of the country. Today, Ukrainian officials say at least six Russian missiles hit the city of Odessa, killing at least six people, including a three-month-old baby. At least 18 others are injured in the attack, Russia showing no signs of letting up. A senior Russian commander says the Kremlin's goals for the next phase of the invasion are total control of southern Ukraine and potentially a separatist region of Moldova. President Zelensky insists the Ukrainian people are not scared to do what they must to save their country. I don't have the right to be afraid because our people showed that they are not afraid of anything. They are afraid for their children, that's true. People were stopping tanks with their bare hands and other Russian military armament. But new pictures reveal the results of this ongoing massacre. Satellite images released this week show what appear to be a second mass grave near Mariupol. Local officials accuse Russia of burying thousands of civilians to conceal the slaughter taking place there. The UN reporting more than 5,200 verified civilian casualties, 50 of those unlawful killings in Bucha alone. The actual number likely much higher. During his news conference, Zelensky said Ukraine is better able to defend itself now that the U.S. and its allies are delivering heavy weapons really needed by his troops. April is National Volunteer Month, and the nonprofit Operation Gratitude teamed up with hundreds of volunteers in Chatsworth this weekend to give back to our nation's service members. They organized a care package assembly day. Volunteers created about 6,500 care packages that will be sent to U.S. troops mobilized in response to the crisis in Ukraine. You're not actually involved in the conflict, um, but you, uh, you, you're sitting there poised and ready to go every single day. It is, it is very, very tough on your psyche. These care packages are going to lift the spirits of those uh, soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines that are over there today. Yeah, the Operation Gratitude care packages contain snacks, personal care and hygiene products, handmade items, and most importantly, handwritten letters from grateful Americans from across the country. Well, we know that many of you want to help, but it's really hard to know which nonprofits to choose. So just log on to KTLA.com slash help Ukraine for a full list of links to trusted relief organizations and how they're helping.